Hello everyone, this is Curtis again, moving right along with our video series. To recap, we ended at the various small little uh, prayers that Sister was hurling against the communists. So moving right along, let's start with a prayer. I offer this video series in reparation for the offenses against the holy face of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the Immaculate and Sorrowful Heart of Mary, with the intercession of the Most Chaste Heart of St. Joseph and St. Michael, the Prince of the Catholic Church. Also, might as well, St. Dismas, pray for us. St. Veronica, pray for us. Okay, so this one didn't have a, a date or month, but in the chronology of the letters, it was in between April and in May, so sometime in April, maybe early May before the 5th. Sister comments on how the Holy Face is united to the work of the reparation. Um, so basically, this image is always to be used. O oh God, our protection, look upon us and turn your eyes upon the face of your Christ. That's Psalm 89 or 83 9. And I believe that's the Dewey Reams version because I remember there's some off numbering during some of the translations different translations so May 5th 1847 sister the Savior makes me understand that he had handed over everything into her hands those of the Blessed Virgin and that she would obtain the brief from the sovereign pontiff for us the repertory work is so necessary to France and so glorious to God that he desires that his most holy mother may have the honor of giving it to this kingdom as a new pledge of his mercy. Let us then go to the Holy, Most Holy Virgin, who is the treasurer of God's grace, graces, mediatrix of graces. August 1st, 1847, sister, finally, he wrought something in me which I am not able to comprehend. With it, I felt the weight of inexpressible pain. I was as if in a fire. My senses were bound by a divine power. I understood that the infant Jesus wished to make fight against the demon of pride and impurity with the virtues and graces of his holy infancy. Live Jesus and Mary. Um, you can learn quick re research showed up was this this page right here. Infant Prague about the infant Jesus of Prague. Um, this is another Carmelite devotion. Uh, uh, no big shocker there. They have the chaplet of St. Michael, infant Jesus of Prague. Um, I think the Holy Family stuff they got a lot of devotions and things that have happened to them I mean, that's just how it goes august 13th 80, uh, 1847 sister i see it clearly in god's light man must have recourse constantly to the most blessed virgin his mother if he wishes to arrive at the perfect age and eternal life that is devotion to blessed virgin mary necessary to salvation September 14th, 1847. Sister, the devil cannot fight against a little child. He is too proud for that. That is why he does all he can to turn me from the mystery of the divine maternity. November 1847, Our Lady of La Salette. Okay, so the Blessed Virgin answered me, Yes, my daughter, it is certain that I appeared last year at La Salette alone, without my son. The earth was not worthy of his visit. Now, she wasn't at La Salette. She couldn't have known anything about this. Well, like I said previously, she had talked to Leon DuPont about it. I announced disasters which would have infallibly taken pre place without my mediation. Okay, you can cover your ears for this next little bit. It, it is kind of scandalous, but I put it in because they say this enough that maybe there's some fruit for meditation. I uncovered my bosom to my angered son. I showed him the breast which had nourished him. Then he revoked the sentence of famine. He was not able to resolve to deprive my children of bread because of the love with which I had nourished him with my milk. And his arm is raised to strike, fell disarmed upon my breast from where it caused torrents of milk to flow, which have fertilized the earth. Okay, you can uncover your ears now. But they actually, they talk about this divine maternity and stuff. And maybe for a virgin or nun back then, that wouldn't be a scandal. But if you get any images in your head, don't think about it. Don't meditate on it keep your chastity um, I just put it in there because they said it so many times that I was like okay well I, I guess this is important November 21st 1847 our Lord to sister warning of the overthrow of the King of France 
when with my powerful arm I will shake the throne to cause him to fall who sits upon it, and what state will France be? January 4th, 1848. St. Teresa of Avila appears to sister. This is interesting. Our Holy Mother Teresa appeared to me this morning in the interior of my soul. She is deputed by God to combat the enemies of the work of reparation, which the demons wish to devour. She told me that this work would be the honor of Carmel, and that it was well in accord with the spirit of our holy vocation, the end of which is the glory of God and the needs of the church. That is why she has urged me to devote myself to it with fervor. Finally, and she enjoined obedience, obedience upon me, making me understand that Jesus worked miracles for souls who possess this virtue, and that she herself had always submitted to obedience the communications which she had received from heaven. She also made me see with what fidelity I ought to acquit myself of all my religious observances, of which even the least is very pleasing to the Lord and could enrich me with merits. In the end, I understood that God was given, giving to the work a very powerful protectress in the person of our Holy Mother, and to me a very sweet consolation in my troubles. Uh, from other sources, too, apparently the, the virtue that God most uh, is pleased by is obedience. Thus, if you can get into a religious vocation, do it. It would That obedience makes everything meritorious. If you take a nap because your superior says to, you get married for it because you're being obedient to the will of God. February 13th, 1848. Sister, he then wished to impose a new mission upon me and soon told the terrible blow which must strike us. The church is menaced with a horrible tempest. Pray, pray. Our Divine Master gave me this knowledge at different times, but it is not possible to describe the touching way in which this charitable Savior said to me, Pray, pray. He taught me the prayer which I must use in order to keep his church in the most holy name of God. It is that which he addressed to his Father for his apostles and for his entire church before the world. Holy Father, keep your name, keep in your name those whom you have given to me. Note. Uh, this was actually from the text. Note, in the November of this year, 1848, uh, Pope Pius IX, on being obliged to leave Rome, took refuge in Gaeta. And this was uh, in reference to that. February 20, 1848. On 20th February, Sister St. Peter sees that the chastisement will not be arrested. The Lord has drawn his bow. He is going to discharge his arrows. And she replies, strike, Lord. Some days later, the re revolution overthrew Louis Felipe. And then I pulled this from Wikipedia. So February, uh, I don't know the exact date, on the French Revolution of 1848, led by Napoleon III, I believe. So following the overthrow of King Louis Philippe or Philip, in February 1848, the elected government of the Second Republic ruled France. In the months that followed, this government steered a course that became more conservative. On 23rd June 1848, the people of Paris rose in insurrection, which became known as June Day's Rising, Uprising, a bloody but unsuccessful rebellion by the Paris workers against a conservative turn in the Republic's course. On 2nd December 1848, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte was elected president of the Second Republic, largely on peasant support. Exactly three years later, he suspended the elected assembly, establishing the Second French Empire, which lasted until 1870. Louis Napoleon went on to become the de, de facto last French monarch. Uh, he is also known as Napoleon III. So French Revolution. Uh, she was already being told about this stuff before it happened. February 26, 1848, Our Lord and Sister. Do not fear, little flock. Your sheepfold is in my name. I hold you all hidden in my heart. Nothing evil will befall you. The sister understood that the clergy would be spared, at least this time, but that it was urgent to invoke mercy. And we'll stop this video.